Hey everyone, Charity Preston here from Organized Classroom. Today I wanted to show you a really fun website that perhaps some of you already know about, but this was completely new to me. And I figure if it's new to me, there's probably someone else that may or may not have heard about it before. The website is a Google a day. And the reason I actually stumbled across this was because I was looking for resources to help my college students. So I have a junior in college, and she's very bright, graduated, you know, in the top 30% of her high school class. So she certainly wasn't the valedictorian, but she does fine, and she's done very well in college. But so many times I see her struggling with research. And it kills me because I use Google all day long. If I have a question about something, if my younger son asks me about whatever, and I don't know the answer, we typically go to Google to try to find the answers and learn about it. So as I was researching some options for helping her be a better researcher, I ran across this really fun website and you can find it at a googleaday.com and it's really fun because there's only one right answer and it, it's kind of like a game so basically just like it explains they ask the question and you find the answer and it's timed so it's really really it's like a gamification kind of way to learn how to search the internet better. And I really do believe that the better search things that we have going on, so the better search skills that we have going on, the better our searches will be and the more accurate the information will be and it will be faster to find that information. I think sometimes we just assume that students know how to find anything on the internet because they find all kinds of interesting things, right? But I don't know that they know the most efficient way to research on the internet. So I'm going to show you um, how to play it in just a second. But I also love down here it has tips and tricks. So let's go to play. And if you go to tips and tricks, this is actually something that I didn't know. Obviously, I know how to do quotes and all of those types of things, but I didn't know you could search for something but not another thing. Or I did know you could search only with a specific site, but I have to look this up in the little tips tutorial every single time. You can search in Google specifically just for a file type. So if I'm looking specifically for a PDF about butterflies, I could type that in there. You can define words. A lot of times I go to dictionary.com. You don't need to. You can just go to Google and say define whatever word it is. You can find words in the title of the web page. You can even do ranges of numbers, dates, or prices. You can get more tips and tricks. Those are just some quick ones. In here, the calculator, I knew most of those. That one's pretty simple. And for information, you can, you know, type this in. I actually use the movie ones for my zip code all of the time. I did not know that they also did flight status within Google itself. Normally I go to like a flight tracker or the actual airlines flight tracker. So those are some pretty fun tips and tricks that you could even have printed out on a poster or a piece of paper that you hang up in near the computers to help students as well. So here's how it works. What is the atomic weight of the lightest element on the periodic table? So periodic table, um, lightest element. And let's see, hydrogen is the lightest element, so then hydrogen, 
atomic weight. Okay, there we go. And this is what it says. I don't know if that's right. That's going to show that, right? There we go. I got it right. It goes on to the next one. And I have to tell you that I've been trying to do these every day myself in order to increase my own researching skills. And some of these are really, really hard. So FYI on that, they are definitely, I would say, many times for older-ish students, or they could be done with partners of students that are a little bit younger. I Obviously, you're going to need to be able to read to do these, so probably not for our youngest students. You can do give me a hint, and you can also do show me the first letters as well. But um, it shows you kind of how many points I've earned in different the different categories as well. But it's right on this page, so it helps you find those things. So anyway, that is a Google a day. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I would love to hear your experience with a Google a day in the comments below. Or if you have other websites that you really enjoy for helping students learn researching skills, feel free to post those in the comments below too. So I look forward to hearing from you soon, and I will talk to you later. Bye.